Pumping up a bike tire is something that we've all done a thousand times. And when you're out on a ride, chances are you're not going to have a floor pump with you, which means you'll be employing a fair bit of elbow grease to get riding again. Flextail aim to solve that problem with their tiny bike pump, a compact, rechargeable electric pump that's small enough to always have with you. So let's check it out and see if it's worth adding to your kit. Good afternoon and welcome to the review. Before we take a look at the Flextail Tiny Bike Pump, here's the usual reminder to consider hitting that subscribe button. Over here you'll find all manner of videos related to bikepacking and bike touring. That means product reviews, tips, tricks and tutorials, and even the occasional overnighter or trip report. And in three months time, I'll be leaving on the around the world bike trip of a lifetime, which I'll document and upload right here. So if that's the kind of thing that you're into, hit subscribe. The Flextail Tiny Bike Pump comes packed in this white box with some basic instructions on the back. Inside, you'll find a bag of bits and the pump itself, which as you can see, has a silicon cover installed. The cover is easily removed, but I'd recommend leaving it on to protect the device from damage and because the pump does happen to get a little bit hot under heavy use. In the bag, you'll find some Velcro for strapping it to your bike, a USB charging cable, various bits for converting to Schrader valves or pumping up footballs, and this small O-ring lanyard thing. You can turn the pump on by holding the button for a moment, and then a single tap activates it. And it is loud. And converting to Schrader with the included bits is easily done by simply unscrewing the valve and swapping the parts out. Small electric bike pumps like this one have been floating around on the market for quite a while now. But the Flextail is the newest on the market and so in theory should be the most refined. So let's take a look at the relevant numbers. It weighs 110 grams, measures 6.9 by 4 by 2.8 centimeters, takes 25 minutes to fully charge via USB-C, can inflate up to four tires, and can inflate them up to 100 PSI. It's compatible with Presta or Schrader, and it costs 99.99 US dollars. So the thing that initially stood out to me there was that most electric pumps like this can only inflate a tire twice. However, after doing some digging, I found this table which shows that it can only do that with certain tire and pressure combinations, which I guess makes sense. So let's go see how it performs with the kind of tires that I use. All right, so you guys might recognize this tire from my previous video about the tire glider, link up in the corner. And this is the tire that we're gonna use to test out the flex tail. All right, so this is the very first time using this pump. It has never been used before and only ever switched on that one time in the unboxing video. So um, yeah, let's see if we can figure this out. Hold to switch on. I guess we just put it on the valve and let rip. Firming up pretty quick. Bit more. Man, that's already pretty firm. Let's get the pressure gauge and see what it's at. Apparently that's only 23. Let's uh, let rip a little bit longer.
All right, now I think we're getting somewhere. Thirty-one. You know, I think I'm probably happy with 31. That's pretty hard. All right, so I'll put the time on the screen now. But I mean, that was pretty damn quick from a completely flat tire to 31 PSI. All right, so we've seen how it performs with a 38 millimeter touring tire. Why don't we see how it goes with this 2.4 inch mountain bike tire? Okay, where's the best place to stand while I do this? Maybe, maybe around this side? Yeah. I can see some sealant coming out of the beat here. Are we gonna hear a pop? Definitely getting firmer. All right, that's got a bit more to go. Pretty close. Let's go a little bit more. That was a bit weird. It's done that a couple of times now. It kind of glitches out when it's getting started sometimes. All right, that feels pretty good. Let's get the tire gauge and see where we're at. Twenty-five, which is where I run them. So we'll stop there. It's worth noting at this point that this thing's pretty warm right now. And I guess that's what this silicone cover is all about. All right, so that was by no means an exhaustive test, but it does show how it would perform in the kind of situation that I would put it in. And that's pumping up touring tires, gravel tires, or chunky mountain bike tires. So let's keep this nice and short and go through my likes and my dislikes before we wrap this up. Firstly, the likes. I really like the size of this thing and it's pretty impressive what it can do for being so compact. I also like that it can get a tire inflated most of the way pretty quickly. And I love that it only takes 25 minutes to charge. And finally, I really like that it doesn't take any effort whatsoever to pump up a tire rather than frantically pumping away with a mini pump which is probably the main value proposition of this thing. Now, in terms of dislikes, I'm not really a fan of how noisy it is. Now, I understand that that's probably a limitation of its size, so I can't really hold that against Flextail, but it is a thing. And it's also worth noting that although it gets the tire most of the way very quickly, it does start to slow down as the pressure increases. And I'm also not a fan of how hot it gets. Again, this is probably a limitation of its size and it's perfectly safe. I'm sure Flextail have done all the testing and all that, but it is slightly unnerving. And especially since they felt the need to wrap it in a little silicon cover. 
And lastly, that weird glitchy chirping noise you heard it make. Now after further experimentation, it does seem to have an easier time starting up when I back off a little bit and don't push so hard on the valve. So that could be user error. Maybe by pushing too hard, I was blocking an opening or squeezing something too hard that I shouldn't have, but it's still kind of weird. All right, so let's wrap it up. I think that this is a really nifty little device and it definitely has a place on a day ride. I'm not sure that I would tour with this, but I would definitely consider throwing it in a waste pack or a frame bag for shorter outings. It's really awesome being able to pump up a tire in the tropical heat that we have here without all the exertion that comes with using the kind of compact pump that you'd normally take on a ride. Now, as mentioned, it isn't perfect, but the issues that I ran into were mostly just limitations of its size. And it seems that those limitations are shared by all of the compact electric pumps on the market. And despite the occasional glitchiness, I always got it going. So overall, I think this is an awesome little pump and it currently lives in the frame bag of my commuter bike so that I can quickly and easily inflate a tire if I get a flat on the way to work. So what do you guys think? Are the limitations of a tiny pump like this worth the convenience that it brings? Let me know in the comments down below and if you've got any questions, ask away. And if you're thinking about buying the Flextail, be sure to use the link in the description for 15% off. If you liked the video or found it useful, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers!